Athletes, welcome back. We're changing it up on you a little bit and we are starting a how-to series to answer questions or just give you some points of performance on movements that you may have questions about and you either don't have access to a coach or a gym or maybe it's too intimidating going to the gym. So we got your back. We want you guys to be interactive with this and give us feedback on movements you would like to see and questions that you have on particular movements. Athletes, welcome back. We've got burpee box jump overs for you. Now this can be the one movement among anything that's associated with burpees that people absolutely hate. So we're hoping with the tips and tricks that we give you today, it makes it a little bit more enjoyable and a little bit more bearable. So when you see it on the whiteboard or you see it in the open, you're not as disappointed because you're gonna be a pro at these after this video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna welcome Patience in. She's gonna be our athlete for today. Um, and what we're gonna do is, is that we're gonna work on this side. We're gonna go over the burpee lead up. Now we do have a burpee video, so you guys can check that one out if you want specific um, pieces on this. We're gonna show a few modifications that we want to make the transition better for this. So the first thing is, I'm gonna have Patience just go down into a burpee for us. And then she's gonna come back up. Now the first thing is, is that Patience does a good job of getting as close to the box as she possibly can without hitting her head. So we wanna make sure that we're in a place that's as close as possible. I'm gonna show you why. So she's gonna go back down to the floor. And what Patience is gonna do is, is she's gonna step up out of this burpee, but she's gonna think about replacing her hand with her foot. So she brings that foot up and then it replaces that hand and she's set up in a position now to where she can jump. When we go through this, we're doing a lot of turning side to side. And what I like to do is, is cue athletes to pick an odd and an even side. And then what we're also doing here is that we're thinking about one side of the room is what we're always working on. So we're gonna use this back wall as our working wall. I'm gonna have patience go back down. And so the leg she's gonna step up with is the leg that's closest to this wall. So she's gonna go ahead and step up. And now she is going to jump away from this wall. So she's gonna jump on top of the box and turn away from that wall. So go ahead and give us a jump. And then she's gonna go down to the other side. When we get down to the other side, now sides have changed and Patience is gonna use the leg that's on this side, which was the opposite on this side of the box. She's gonna go down. And then she's gonna step up out of that burpee. And then she's gonna go into her jump, turning away from this wall. And now we have Patience turning opposite directions each time. So not only is she not gonna get dizzy on top of the box, but we're keeping ourselves balanced. Now, when we go into our jump, you'll see people that jump very properly. And what they jump is like they're doing a box jump where they land with both feet. I'm gonna cue patience to jump and almost think about doing a lateral jump so that when she lands on top of the box, we have a foot that lands here and a foot that lands on this outside edge or close to. Because when we come down from this box, rather than adding another jump, we're gonna think about sliding this foot off and setting ourselves up for the next burpee. So she's gonna go down into her burpee. She's gonna step up out of this. And then she's gonna jump on top of that box and give us that lateral hop as she hops, sliding that outside foot off and then going into our next rep here. She's gonna go ahead and give us two more reps so that you guys can see at speed what this looks like. She jumps, sliding that outside foot out. With the burpee box jump over, we do not have to show full extension or control on top of the box so we can stay moving here. The last thing that I'm gonna tell you, and this is what's so beneficial about this step up position, it can put us in a position that we're already prepared to jump. So the extension out of the step up into the hop can be one piece so that you're using that to get yourself on top of the box. We've already incorporated the turn getting onto the box, so we're eliminating some time there as well. And the half second that you save by adding these tips will add up over the long run with these reps. We're gonna have her do three more reps for us at speed now. So she's gonna go at a speed that she feels like she can maintain, stepping up, going into that jump, sliding off, and then going into the next rep and then back up and we've got one more. And that is our final rep. Now, when you guys are practicing this at the gym, don't just save this for when they show up in a workout. I highly encourage our athletes, like when we did our double under lecture, we talked about taking five minutes at the beginning of every class in order to practice that. For this, turn this into an EMOM style. So what I wanna see you guys doing is, is give yourself a 10 minute period, one to two times a week. You're gonna give yourself a certain number of reps that you're gonna try to maintain some intensity through there. So we think about saying, hey, I'm gonna do four burpee box jump overs on the minute every minute for 10 minutes. By the end of that, you're gonna accumulate 40 total reps. 
with this, if you say you're gonna do four and then halfway through we can only do three, that's our new number for the remainder of that 10 minute period. And the next time that we practice, we're gonna try to get fours all the way across. Apply this so that you can have controlled intensity and you can also practice your skill work giving yourself enough time to practice the step up like patients did, and then that lateral jump setting us up to slide off of the box into our next rep is not only gonna be more efficient, but it's gonna save you time during your transitions. We hope you guys loved this video. It's pretty straightforward with burpees and box jumps, but there is an art to it. If you guys have any other movements that you wanna see, drop some comments below, because we love doing this for you guys. We wanna see you rock it out in your competitions and your classes. Thank you so much. Remember, be good, be kind, and join us again for another great tutorial on how to be a better athlete.